What is up guys, Mike to Memo here, and welcome to my YouTube channel, and most of all, welcome to my Gothic 3 playthrough, the playthrough of the Hushishin Dark Mage, Servant of Beliar, the God of Death, Chaos, and certainly everything unnatural like the undead, and uh, welcome to episode, I do not know, part 2, I believe, um, where we, uh, going to continue the search for the ancestors tombs now why do i say episode i do not know because honestly i do not know i upload so much and i record so much that's really really hard to keep track of which episode is which what part is what because sometimes even those things change that i say let's say episode 20 blah blah we're gonna do this this and this and then in the end you know things takes a bit too long and thus it does, it happens in the next episode or something like that. Miserable beast. So it's really, really hard to tell which episode is what, you know. But I do know for a fact that this is the episode where we're gonna search for the ancestor tombs. Now whether I find an ancestor tomb within the time limit remains to be seen, you know. Which is the downside of it. But we'll manage, we'll manage, one way or another. No, oh, wrong one. What a waste of a potion. Nope, he's dead. Okay, still going in a good direction. Good, good. Ah, uh, not shamans. Is there something I hate in shamans? Well done, miserable beast. not be is not cheap guys you know to summon all these spells oh no whoopsie sorry about that guys but that's what you get if your push the talk button is alt and your inventory button is tap if you combine them that's right Is it wrong to be strong? You be the judge. Well, I hate those beasts. Yeah, me too. Can I have that, sir? Thank you very much. More of these little buggers, really? This is a uh, gobo invested territory. Miserable beast. Miserable beast.
here we have Akasha's tomb. At least I believe it was Akasha. Take that rotten beast. No, he's not rotten. Not yet. Alright, so here we go. Another army of the orcs. Now keep in mind there is an army here as well as a bit further up a whole army so uh, this is going to be quite interesting. Let me summon Johnny D. My demonic friend. Now keep in mind that I will have to run away so at some point he will die automatically. But uh, let's hope I can prevent that from happening. God damn it. Good job, Johnny D. Johnny the Demon. But we're not done here yet. There's another orc group over there. And like I said, there's an old encampment over there. I think it was a uh, encampment of three leaders, but I'm not sure. It's certainly a large army. Oh, my companion is dead. Poor bugger.
the charged ones you cannot block. Or dodge for that matter. Well, you can block them if you open your inventory. But, but you've got two versions of attacks. You know, you got those loose ones. Those are not projectiles, so they will not follow the target, or at least try to follow the target. And you have the charged version, which do follow. As long as there are no trees, no, you know, certain things in the way. Lucky you. The first thing I have to take care of are the mages. Why are you shitting me? Benny died again. Well, I'm not really concerned about his life, you know, even it, it sounds cruel. You know what? I'm gonna send the bugger away. At least that way I do have a trainer because I'm gonna check one second what this bugger can teach me. I don't think he can teach me that much, to be honest, when it comes to the playthrough Baliar. But, you know, I do want to try to keep NPCs alive, to keep it a bit more, you know, different from the hardcore run. Because in, if they die in the hardcore run, then they're dead. That much is obvious. I do not really care about this bugger's life. I'm just curious on what he can teach or whatever. Heavy crossbows. Oh, wait. Do I have enough to learn this? Oh, right, that costs large weapons. Now, I cannot learn large weapons, so this guy is basically useless. Go back now. You know where to find me. There must be a nest around here somewhere. <laughs> He's like, hey demon, we want pals? No, not motherfucker. Okay, so he can't really teach me anything. And if I send him back, he will attack my demon. So, whatever happens now, happens. Fate Baliar. I gave him a chance to walk away. But he had to make a problem with Johnny D. Alright, so let's take care of the Madoshis.
Ein Schnicki, Schnicki. Schnicki, Schnicki. And that was a failed imitation. Wanted to do Twitch, you know, but I failed miserably. I need the mud or she's dead, god damn it. Well, I did kill two out of three mages. But I do want to try to keep uh, the the guy alive because uh, I can use his help with the next encampment and the encampment after that. I'm just gonna r run away, that will kill my demon instantly. But it will keep my companion alive while I keep busy with these guys. Come on, man. What to do, what to do. Well, the demon is totally useless. So I'm gonna de-summon him. And uh, I'm just gonna send Ugo for away, see what direction he's gonna walk towards. Wait a bit. And then I'll uh, just deal with the orc myself. The only thing that's gonna be a trick is our uh, good friend Shamans. But I don't want to risk any NPCs. Doesn't make it any much easier for me than if it is on my own. So before I send him away. You just gonna chill here and eat, drink, whatever. Really. Really man. Here we go then. Let me make it easier for him. Because, you know, having companions with you is a uh, risky business. It's a whole lot easier just to run back. The only downside is no one to tank. Sure do, man. Keep chilling now. He will walk away, surely. Must be hungry. I'm too used to it. Let's get to it. I'm just gonna, you know, save more often to make it uh, a bit more easier. But since he's gonna stand there like a retard, anyways, might as well make use of him. Right there, 
One shaman less, that's good. The shamans I'm most worried about. Now if you want to keep your companion alive without regenerating, just run away. Don't regen his HP, the enemy too, but... So far, so good. Now, if you have a summoned companion, you, if you run away and it will not follow you because of, let's say, it's a battle, which is 9 out of 10, it will uh, automatically kill him and, you know, it will disappear. So, uh, basically, summoning magic is really useless if you're gonna use the kite method, you know, in order to get damage done over time, kill them one off by one. If you're gonna do that, then summoning magic is relatively useless. If you're gonna go full charge and full magical capabilities on their asses, then summoning magic is relatively good. It depends on your play method. I like to run away to kite. Some people play different, you know. Well done. I'm not so bad. Really? I believe this was a cautious tomb. I'm pretty sure that it is. Um, let's say about 99.9%. .9%. But um, it it could be that I'm wrong. You know that's why I'm not saying 100%. But I'm pretty pretty sure that this is a cautious tomb where you can find most likely your last artifact of Adanos. Yep, Akasha. Well done.
take that rotten beast which means that we can finally activate the shrine of Belial which is good Here lies Akasha. There's an opening here where you can insert a stone. It fits. Alright, so that one is done. I could continue towards Zardus when we find a another one which right over here. Was it that Zardus? I'm pretty sure it was. Let's see, that one is near Fire Clan. And that one is also near Fire Clan. Towards Zardus Tower we go. There will be a whole large encampment there. With Carry on. Carry on like that. Good. Carry on like that. Ahem. <clears throat> Carry on like that. Now I can at least pick up every uh, uh, whetstone. No encampment so far. 
But I'm pretty sure there was one. A huge one. Take that, rotten beast! Well, take that, rotten beast. Could also be that I'm already on the pathway towards Sardis' tower. If that is the cave, then uh, the cave. In the case, take then that, the encampment beast. is about there. If it isn't the case, then I will walk right against it, sooner or later. Yup, here it is. Over there. And then a campment of about 3 to maybe even 4 liters. So it's a large one.
Alright, so mage start to get involved. It's time to kite. I think I put myself in a bit of a, uh, how shall we say, difficult situation. It's the mage I'm trying to get, but uh... That's the mage, that's one of these problems, but I'm also a bit worried about my companion. Oh, he, he's still alive, okay. How were those loose shots miss? Doesn't make the slightest sense. I'm starting to believe that my companion is dead. But if that is the case, fuck him. Oh 
weird fellas. Going to give my pal a bit of a short break. Give him a chance to regen. Yeah, it's a lot of orcs. How more of them do I have to kill? God damn it, I knew there were many. Good thing I quick saved up there. I got stuck between the orcs that were glitching and the uh, little rock they were they were glitching on. So I couldn't jump away. I couldn't do anything, but die, yeah, and I died twice. You are no opponent for me. the largest encampment. Now the reason why I took this route is for one of the quests in the wolf clan which is uh, to find one the uh, what was the wolf's name again? White Ripper I think it was. As well as the uh, hunter that will have a wolf that will guide us to Zardas. I didn't do any of the I didn't do that quest in particular because of the fact I've already been to Zardas because of the same routes that I take but uh, with this guy I will do it so I will let the wolf get me to Zardas instead of just going there and talk with Zardas because Zardas is up, up this hill you know just follow the path
Let me quickly check if there are anything here and then we're gonna go into the next part of this episode where we're gonna obviously continue the search for uh, the ancestor tombs. Now here you have the uh, road, this way will lead to uh, Zardos' tower, uh, or this way, I'm not quite sure at the moment. I think I have to follow this one or this road down here, I'm not quite sure, but we're gonna find out in uh, the um, next part, but it's either this way or that way that you have to go. And then you will circle up a bit of the mountain and then you get two passageways, one to Zardas' tower and the other that will lead you to um, one of the hunters from the wolf clan. Which is on a uh, cabinet between the two rocks. But we we'll go there in a bit so thank you guys for watching if you like what you see subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell if you want to be notified if you don't then don't. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next part of this episode where we're gonna continue the search like I said before with the search of the ancestor stones. I've currently done two or three. Two. I've currently done two. Um, but I, uh, what's the, something with the B. I'm not quite sure what his name was but I got that one done and that one done. Now I'm gonna go to this one. This one is near the Wolf Clan, I believe, and this one is, those two are, as you can see, relatively close to each other. The Wolf Clan is, uh, let's see. Mm, no, not that one. Let's see. Wolf Clan is somewhere around here, I think. I'm not quite sure. Could also be that the Wolf Clan is down here. Because this is the map only for Nordmar, so it's really hard to. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> and if you like, please subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you guys in the next episode where we're gonna go and search for the remaining four ancestor tombs. One, two, done. One, two, three, four, yeah. So, four still remain. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys in next time. Talk so much again. Sorry about that, guys. But. Sometimes you get carried away. Anyways, thank you guys and peace.